is Elisa Monte, and I've been a dancer and choreographer all of my life. Um, so for me, that means movement has always been the way I've found the answers to questions. So, you know, just waking up and being confused about life and trying to get centered and not feel anxious about things or um, confused. I found that sort of dealing with my body, the first thing I do sets me up for the day and I can cope with whatever comes my way much better. So I've always danced. I was trained classically at first and then was became more interested in contemporary dance uh, because there were a lot more uh, different points of view, different ideas. Uh, and luckily America has many, many um, uh, innovators of contemporary dance. So I became then a contemporary dancer and then followed um, to become a choreographer after that. And uh, I've always done something other than dance. I've always done something other than dance. Um, I did yoga for a long time and um, actually had to start to modify yoga because of issues and that really frustrated me. I didn't want to have to limit or change or modify or do less than I knew uh, the form demanded and that's when I discovered Tai Chi. Um, it was something that really worked very well. I could stand. It was the inversions that were not uh, healthy for my body. So Tai Chi was perfect. I was on two feet and um, it was so difficult. I remember the first class I took. I was so frustrated. It, it was as if I would never comprehend what was happening. Um, but with just determination, and being very stubborn just day after day, little by little, it started to make sense. And this is five years later. <laughs> I'm just beginning to um, feel a little bit of, of what I hear uh, the heights, you know, Tai Chi can bring you to, or the depths within yourself. So it's been a wonderful journey. And Tina has been uh, a wonderful teacher and in bringing me forward and always encouraging not to be discouraged about what you're doing uh, and a lot of knowledge it's very clear and distinct and I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you.